Good morning, dzień dobry, zaraz food. I'm on my way to the monastery, uh, but I want to talk about few things because you keep on asking me several questions if I see any homeless people here in Moscow and if I see any anyone who is begging, asking for money. You know, I always pull this because it's like really warm turtleneck, but it's pretty close to my face and it bothers. Okay, so do I see um, any beggars? So I'll be honest with you. How many days I'm here? I, s I stopped counting. It's almost two weeks, right? Yeah, almost two weeks, if not more. Um, I've seen one man, I didn't want to record this because I don't think this is nice to do that because everyone has a story why they are in this situation like this. One man on the street going in between the cars asking for help and then one person who actually approached me. But, one second, they are cleaning the snow. The weather update in a second. Uh, one person approached me, but I could actually feel, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty spot on with my intuition about people in general. I felt that it was like uh, not quite true that he needed help because, you know, he also looked pretty, pretty well dressed. So I'm just giving you this because I know people like, oh, you don't know, you don't know. Well, of course I don't know, but my intuition told me don't trust, so I didn't trust and I follow my intuition. So as far as answering that question, I literally saw just one person that was asking for money. One second, guys, let me take off my glove and grab this phone with the other hand. So another thing is about homeless people. I've seen just now, actually, walking down the street, one of the pretty busy streets here. One man that looked like he's homeless and another person was approaching him and asking him some questions. That's about it. Again, I really don't know how the situation looks like here with homeless people. All I know, how it looks in the US. And I think it's worse now since I left. I left in March. But I remember when I was still living in California, how it looked. I remember how it looked in South Carolina also. It's a different way, but there were also homeless people. And very, very extreme poverty too. So to, to be very honest with you, this city is incredibly organized. It's very clean. Um, in spite of the number of people that live here and how big this city is, so I hope this answers your questions and let me get to the monastery, show you some views from there and then I will be recording some more answers to your questions today um, that are just like maybe some light questions, you know. Anyway, let's go. No davai. Got to give you the weather update. Minus three, uh, almost, almost clear skies, just perfect weather for walking, so I'm taking advantage of it. And yeah, very nice day, really nice day. Fresh, cold, but manageable cold, and great day for walking. Wizards of Oz, everyone.
so actually I will record it here at the front of this incredible monastery there are several buildings to explore and you saw some of the images already very special place uh, so I will address if I feel safe here in Moscow uh, yes I do you know I'm very sensitive to to everything pretty much but um, I feel very safe there is there is police on the streets, you see securities of course as well, but um, overall feeling it's, uh, it's of safety. So again, I know there is no perfect place in the world that is completely safe, but um, I truly feel okay walking the streets here. Police you see um, on some corners or like main squares the christmas markets those holiday markets you see them as well it's a it's a good feeling you feel actually okay you feel like you're protected this is just my impression from being here i know it might vary depending on different tourists or locals but you were asking me so i'm telling you how i feel again it's all individual guys and uh, another thing i want to address as far as places that i'm showing you you know not gonna show you everything and there are a few reasons because first of all it's my first time in Moscow and I don't want to overwhelm myself with everything second is because um, I'm planning to come back here and want to leave some places for the future you know to explore some things to see later on and uh, it's like in the relationship you know you don't want to discover everything at once about the person you want to have some treasures, you know, that you find out later on as you are in that relationship. So that's what I want to say. Let's go and check out other buildings. And yeah, I hope you enjoy those videos from me. Uh, I will come back to the interviews, of course, but when I'm traveling, I think it's a nice addition to my channel because you also need to balance the news and the political stuff and the information in the world and see the beauty of this world you know that's my main intention with this as well Okay guys, you see this bank behind me, so I just went there because, I mean, that's how I am. I go straight to the source if I have any questions, because, you know, we can uh, assume this, assume that. So I wanted to know, actually I type it in the Google translation on my phone, and I went with this question to the bank in Russian. Uh, can I, as a foreigner, open an account in Russia, deposit the money, transfer the money, right, uh, from another from another country, one second, this is the noise. From another country, and uh, what do I need in order to open this account? Okay, so straightforward question, practical questions, and um, very nice help, very nice service. They told me that yes, absolutely, I can open an account as a foreigner, as a tourist in Russia in this bank. You see this bank in the blue mark behind me. All I need to do is to have my passport, uh, also the migration card, which I received when I entered uh, Russia. I don't think I told you, they gave me like a card for my stay, which they also use at the hotel. And um, that passport, by the way, she told me had to be translated. So I believe it's like a notary of public in Russia. They have to approve it, translate it. Uh, there is no minimum amount to deposit in the bank account, but here is the catch of the one and this is why I have a certain a certain time frame to be in Russia because you cannot bring with you more than ten thousand dollars of in cash right I mean you know you can try but it can be uh, an issue later so you cannot transfer any money from a foreign bank we know this so that's how the situation looks like. Of course, you will be uh, given a debit card once you open this account that you can use uh, everywhere in Russia and the Russian Federation. And also, what else? Let me think. Uh, I forgot one more thing I want to tell you. 
uh, yeah, and you don't need the address. So you don't need to be, you know, like in US, I think they still, I think that's how it is, I forgot, because I have an account for like so many years there. You have to give the evidence of your, um, of the place where you live and some bills that you're paying from this address. So you have to provide the address. You don't need to provide any address. So I hope this information helps you. It's more practical information. Uh, but again, you know, you cannot transfer the money. So we see how this will go next year. I'm actually very, very, very curious how they're gonna solve it next year because this, this does create an issue if, if you want to stay in Russia longer um, and explore more places. Then. Anyway, let me know what you think. Comments down below and let's go to the next beautiful place.